Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we are going to mount the upper platform to the Jetson race car and attach some electronics. Let's get started. As you remember from the last video, we had issues mounting the PCA9685 PWM driver, which is this little blue thing. One of the solutions for actually mounting it on the Jetson race car is to mount it to a proto board and then mount the proto board to the platform. Unfortunately, the way that the PCA9685 is laid out, it overhangs the proto board. So I didn't particularly like that idea. And then there's the evil solution is we could drill out these mounts a little bit and mount this directly to the previous standoffs that we mounted. So I wouldn't advise doing that. Or we could find different mounts to actually mount this on to the platform with. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take the evil solution. <laughs> do not do this at home. One of the reasons that this is a bad idea is because of ESD and static electricity and all that. But this particular PCA9685 has been through the wars has been in three or four projects, so I'm not going to be too upset if I ruin it. I'll put my goggles on for safety. Take my drill. And... The holes are just undersized, just a smidgen, so... I'm hoping if I just go up one size, everything will work correctly. Let's attempt to mount it now on our standoffs. All right, good to go. Next, we'll work on mounting our upper platform. This is the top platform. It's about eight and a half inches wide by 16 and a half long. At an inch offset, I've marked places for three standoffs per side. And then I've marked an area where we can mount the antennas for the Wi-Fi. So we'll drill holes in all of those spots. To drill the holes for the standoffs, I've clamped the top platform to the bottom platform and lined up the holes. We'll drill through both platforms. And then the holes for the antennas. Let's do some test fitting and see how we did. Got some standoffs, some screws. Looks like I'll have to get some washers for the screws. See if I can get this rascal to line up here. If 
for some reason these these lined up i don't know why okay test fitting seems pretty rigid happy with that Okay, I've reattached the bottom platform to the chassis of the car. And now we're ready for the fun part, which is to take off the protective covering from the acrylic. That's the only reason I do these projects, so I can do this. I think I missed my calling in life. And all the holes line up. Have to mount the antennas. You got lucky, those holes actually fit. Got lucky again, it's just barely missed the audio output jacks. Living lucky today. This is just a test fit. So we still need to mount the IMU up here but I'm kind of anxious to get to the point where I can actually start developing code. So I'm gonna skip that part for now. So the parts that are left now are to wire up the PCA 96A5. We can put in our wireless and connect our platform. That seems pretty sturdy. So if it takes a tumble, electronics shouldn't get hurt too bad. So we're looking good. It looks like in our next episode, we'll be able to write some software so we can actually drive our little car.